In this video of the Partition Assistant Pro series, we're going to be looking at cloning partitions and disks using the Disk Copy Wizard and Partition Copy Wizard. So I have a 232GB external hard drive that we're going to be using for backing up disks and partitions in this video. We're going to look at the Disk Copy Wizard first, and what we'll do is just click on the Disk Copy Wizard from the Wizards sidebar. When we open it, we get two options. Copy disk quickly, which will copy the disk and leave some unallocated space after. Or copy the disk sector by sector, ignoring that totally, so it will use up the whole disk. I'm going to click on copy disk quickly for this tutorial. So we'll click on next. We need to select our source disk, so I'm going to select my SSD. We'll click on next. We need to select our destination disk, which I'm going to choose my external hard drive. We'll click on next again. It'll tell us that we need to make sure that all the data will be destroyed and we need to back up. So click on yes. We get three options here. We can copy the disk without resizing partitions and you see that we'll have some unallocated space after. We can fit the partitions to the entire disk, which means all of it will be used. And we can edit the partitions to select our size that we want. For this tutorial, I'm going to copy without resizing partitions. After that, we'll click on Next. And we'll click on Finish. And after that, we can click on Apply and then proceed. We will have to reboot after this, so what I will do now is stop the video and move on to the next part. Next what we're going to look at is the Partition Copy Wizard. We'll click on that from the Wizard menu. Like with the Disk Copy Wizard, you can select Copy a Partition quickly or Sector by Sector. So we'll just click Next. All you need to do now is select the partition you want to copy. In this case, I'll want to copy my Recordings Partition since I have a lot of uh, raw video data from my tutorials. We'll click on Next. Now we need to select the destination space. I'm going to select my external hard drive, unallocated in this case. We'll click on Next. We can resize the partition if we need to and move it. We can select it as a logical partition or partition primary. And we can change the drive letter or give it none. After you're happy, you can click on Finish. And then click Apply. Click on Proceed. Yes. And wait for it to do its thing. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Until next time, thank you for watching. And goodbye.